Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple web page using GIMP. First thing we're going to do is create our project. We're going to start with a width of 760 pixels and a height of 720. Go ahead and click OK and that will open up your project. The next thing we want to do is fill our background color. Um, go ahead and double click to select a background color. And then go ahead, make sure you have your bucket fill tool selected and just click on your background and it will automatically fill it for you. The next thing we're going to do is open a new layer to work on our header. For this we're going to make sure our layers bar is open. If that's not open, all you have to do is click Control L and that will pop up for you. Then we're going to go ahead and click Layer, New Layer. We're going to rename it Header. You can keep it the same size as your background and you want to make sure that Transparency is selected. Alright, now with our header layer selected, so make sure by right there, make sure it's blue and highlighted. We're going to go ahead and select the rectangle select tool and go up in the top right hand corner of your document. And from there, we're going to go ahead and select an area that is 291 pixels by 120 pixels. You can tell how big it is by going down to the bottom of your GIMP image there and it will tell you the dimensions. Okay, so we're going to go to 291 by 120. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and fill that area with your color that you'd like your header to show up as. Same way as before, just select your color, your bucket fill tool, and click it, and it'll fill it right in for you. Alright, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create another new layer. We're going layer, new layer once again. This one layer we're going to name our content layer. That can also be the same size, still make sure transparency is selected. Alright, the content layer is going to be another rectangle select tool and go from the very corner of the area that we had just selected to be our header. And then we're going to go ahead and take it all the way down like such to fill up the rest of our page. This is going to be a content, so we're going to want it to be a different color than our header just to keep the web page separate looking and not totally the same. Go ahead and select our color, buck fill tool, and fill that in. Alright, now that we got the basic look of our web page down, we're going to go ahead and start adding the details. We're going to start by going layer, new layer, and having a new layer pop up for us. We're going to title this layer menus. And we're going to go ahead and leave the pixels the same size again. Okay, now we're going to use our rectangle select tool and select an area where you want your menus, your main icons that you're going to click on to go. Alright, now that we got the area that we're going to end up using for our menus selected, we're going to go ahead and give this uh, one of a kind look by giving it rounded corners. What we're going to do is go to select rounded rectangle and then here you can adjust the radius of your corners we're going to stick with right around 40 as you can see that will round off our bar that we have selected now we're going to go ahead and fill it in just like we have with all of our other layers alright now to add our words to our menu bar what we're going to do is first of all create a new layer we're going to go with menu words this time to keep our layers separate and that way we actually know what they are. And we're going to select our text tool, which looks like a giant letter A over here. Go ahead and select our font and what colors we want. Okay. Change the size, you can also change the spacing. What we're going to do is start out with just one here, which is going to be pictures. And then you'll just, after you type it in, all you have to do is click close. And then from there, you can adjust the size of your bar, of your word bar. And you can also go back and readjust your text by double clicking your text that you had already typed. Alright, next thing we're going to do is create our drop down menu that will drop down from pictures. We're going to do the same as we had before with other menus. 
with our previous menu and our other items that we've added is go ahead and create a new layer again. This one's going to be entitled drop down menu. Alright. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and select the area with our rectangle selection tool that we would like this menu to drop down into. Okay, now we're also going to round this one off. That way it matches our pictures icon up there. Except we're going to round this one off a little more than our pictures. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fill this as we've done before. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add our text that we're going to have drop down once we click on our pictures bar. Okay, what we're going to do is go ahead and type what we're going to want to drop down. We're going to go with trip 1, trip 2, and you can go on and add whatever else you need. Um, we need to adjust our color of our font because right now it's the same as our background. Alright, there you can see it there. Um, we're going to go ahead and make it a little bigger so it shows up better. And as you can see, word wraps on us, so then we need to move it. Alright, and that'll be our menu that drops down once we click on pictures there. Alright, and now for the last thing, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to bring a picture that you have on your computer into your GIMP project. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and start a new layer once again. And this is going to be entitled Pick or Picture, however you'd like to title it. That way you know which layer contains your picture in case you have to edit it later. Okay, then after that, you can see once I bring up my Layers tab here with Control L once again that I have my pick layer selected this is what I want now to find our picture that we want to add in we're going to go ahead and go to file and then open click on that once most of the time you're going to look for your pictures that you'd want to add into your design underneath your my pictures on your computer as you can see here so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and find the picture that I'd like to add which is right here and all you got to do is double click it and that will begin the importing process. Okay, now as you can see, GIMP has opened up the picture that I want to import into my program, into my document, into a separate one, into a separate project. Really easy fix here, all you're going to do is right click on your picture, go to edit, copy, just like you've done before I bet, just a simple copy and paste. And you're going to go here, make sure you have your pick layer selected. And just go once again, right click, and then go to edit, paste. You run into another problem here, as you can see, our picture is a lot bigger than our project design. Another simple fix, all you're going to do is go over here to your scale tool, click on it, then come over and click your picture that you pasted, which is bigger than your project. Then you're just going to simply scale it down to a size that you'd like. Um, for my web, web page design, I'm going to go ahead and go 400 pixels, and it's actually a locked number. As you can see by these chain links, if I click it, it unlocks it, which will lead to distortion on my image if I don't keep the pixel number correctly. So we're going to go ahead and keep it locked, that way we don't get any distortion. And then simply click scale. And then GIMP will just do the rescaling for you to the correct size that you typed in. After that, right now you can see that my picture is covering up all the other items that I have previously put on my page. What we're going to do now is select our move tool. This looks like the four arrows there. Simply go over, click on the picture that you need to move, and just drag it to where you'd like it. And that's how you import pictures. Alright, now that you know the basics of making a web page on GIMP, go ahead and give it a try yourself.